We're going to start programming with Penguin. I'm using Penguin version 0 0.11, available at penguin.googlecode.com. Over here on the left side of the interface, this is the canvas. This is where the penguin lives and where he's going to draw a picture. In the upper right is the editor. This is where you can write your code. <clears throat> and in the lower right, this is the interactive interpreter. It's a Python interactive interpreter, but it has some special commands built in for controlling the penguin. For instance, there's a command forward. If you want the penguin to move forward and draw a line, you can type in forward, open parentheses, give it a number for how far forward you want it to move, close parentheses. When you're all set, press enter. He'll move forward and draw a line. Another command is left. The number that you're going to put in parentheses here is the number of degrees that you want him to turn. Let's try 45 degrees. So he started off, he was looking over here, he turned to the left 45 degrees, and now he's looking up this way. Let's try moving forward again and see what that looks like. So since he was looking up this direction, he moved forward in the direction that he was looking, same distance that he did before, 100. Now, the way that I did that so quickly, over on the interpreter, I'm not a very fast typist, what I'm doing is I'm using the up arrow to get things back that I've typed in before. Just press up arrow, it'll scroll back through the history of the things that you've typed. Once you get to one that you want to do again, you can just press enter, or you can make changes. Let's say I want to turn 90 degrees, so I can just use my arrows, erase with the backspace key, type in 90. I don't need to go to the end of the line when I'm set. I can just right there in the middle of the line, press enter, and he'll follow the command. Let's try moving forward again. Let's turn left into 45, make him look straight over to the left side. This time we'll move forward a little bit farther. This time he moved 200, he moved twice as far as he did the first time. Let's go left 90 again. Alright, another command is right. Let's try moving right 45. Forward. There's also some shortcuts available. For instance, LT is a shortcut for left. Save yourself some typing. Let's try turning left 120 degrees. All right. And then there's another shortcut, which is FD, which is short for forward. And there's also RT, which is short for right. One more command that's available is backward. If you want to move back and draw at the same time, you can move backward. Or, short for that, is BK for backward. Okay, maybe you've got a drawing on here. Maybe you, you are just playing around, you didn't really want to save this, you just want to start fresh, what you can do is you can type in reset, and you need at the end of reset an empty set of parentheses, parentheses with nothing in them. If you just type in reset with nothing after it and press enter, it's not going to work. You're just going to get some strange output, but he's not going to reset the canvas. So you need to type in reset, open parentheses, close parentheses with nothing in it. Once you press enter then, you'll clear out the canvas, go back to the home location, and you can start fresh. That's just a quick introduction to the interface. Why don't you give that a try? Maybe you could try doing something like drawing a square or drawing a triangle and see if you can do that. And tune in for the next broadcast. Thanks for watching.